Video showing the moments when police catch a convicted murderer who had been at large for days. He escaped from the Southern Desert Correctional Facility near Indian Springs on Friday. Police arresting him at a bus stop near Owens and Eastern last night. We have team coverage on this. Vanessa Murphy is at Metro Police Headquarters where the sheriff wrapped up a news conference, giving us more information about the escaped inmate's arrest. But first, we start with Victoria Saho. She spoke to those who first noticed the inmate, and they're the ones who call police. Victoria? Brian and Denise, to give you guys a better idea of just how close Duarte Herrera was to leaving the country, he was just minutes away from boarding his 10 p.m. shuttle bus here to Tijuana. That's when officers swarmed the bus station after someone inside recognized him. Convicted murderer Porfirio Duarte Herrera isn't dressed like he had been on the run for nearly five days when he walked through the doors of Las Vegas shuttles. And he like tried to avoid eye contact and he was a little bit like silent trying to just answer the, the necessary questions. Gabriel Delgadillo manages the bus station where shuttles to Tijuana run twice a day. It was his front desk dispatch that recognized Duarte Herrera Wednesday night because police were there earlier with his picture. She knew the face because the police had already taken this flyer with his mugshot and basically asked us to be on the lookout. What they didn't realize is that Duarte Herrera actually came in the day before on Tuesday afternoon to buy his ticket. Video revealing him showing an ID and paying in cash. He wanted to travel on Tuesday and he probably couldn't because we were already fully booked. The timestamp on the video shows Tuesday around 1.40 p.m., less than an hour after Nevada Department of Corrections announced the inmate had escaped and later said he was last accounted for on Friday. You can see in surveillance video Duarte Herrera comes back Wednesday evening with gray jeans, a backpack and a hat, checking in for his bus. Him using some ID that was allegedly like fodder, fodding ID and uh, looked quite new so she, that made her believe that you know, he was sketchy. This is when the front desk alerted Delgadillo, who called 911. Well, it's more of a risk that I don't do it. Duarte Herrera notices police pull up. He goes to the other side of the building and brushes past a metro officer. Then, just as he was about to board onto the shuttle, he's arrested. Do you consider your dispatcher a hero? Of course. Yeah, we do. Now, workers at this bus station say they've been watching the news coverage about this, so they knew they needed to be on the lookout. But the name police provided wasn't matching anyone on their ticket list. But there's still so many questions about this. Where do you get the money? Where do you get the clothes? We're also learning that a one-way bus ticket from here to Tijuana cost him $101. Victoria, he went through a pretty elaborate plan to get out of prison, and, and I know he's also been known to use aliases in the past. Um, was that at play here when he was buying that ticket? Yeah, so that general manager you just heard from, he said that when Duarte Herrera presented his ID, it said Eric Martinez on it, and that's kind of what threw off that front desk attendant. Brian and Denise.